I recently started learning something completely new relating to programming. And just as I opened my laptop and I was about to start building, I realized this is freaking hard. And it reminded me exactly how I had felt when I first started learning to code. Oh, this is never gonna happen for you. You're not a technical person. Coding, Coding is dead anyway. Why waste your time? So instead of getting started, I closed my laptop and went back to procrastinating by drinking my disappointment in myself away. After all, I could always start tomorrow. But what I had forgotten is that the reason I was failing with learning this new thing was because I was ignoring the three things that you're supposed to do every time before you start learning a new technical skill. And not having these things will ensure that your coding journey will end in a train wreck before it even starts. So in this video, I'm going to show you what these three things are, how anyone can apply them, as well as how Tom Cruise would learn to code if he wanted to become a programmer. And to understand the first thing, we need to go back in time all the way to 1998 when I was born in a hospital in Finland. I'm just kidding, we don't need to go that far back, which means you're not gonna hear all my embarrassing childhood stories, but we do need to go back a few years, back to before I started learning to code. This was perhaps the lowest point in my life. I was working a job I hated, I was broke, I had no direction in life whatsoever. And this was in spite of the fact that I was about to finish my economics degree and go to a really prestigious job in banking. Like this was the dream of everyone who does economics. Everyone was finally gonna think I'm cool and successful. Amazing, right? Well, not quite, because I had zero excitement about what I was doing. Literally every single morning when I woke up, I was just going through the motions. I was like, oh no, I had to go do that thing. And I wasn't excited for the day ahead. And at some point, I simply realized that this cannot be my life. This cannot be the reality for the rest of my life. And, and life certainly could not simply be about money. And it was this feeling that sparked this urge for me to start learning the code. And I'm telling you this because the first thing you need before you even start learning the code is to find your motivation. For me, the motivation was that feeling, that reality of my life, where if I failed to learn the code, that would be my life forever. And I simply did not want that. I want you to think about specifically the pain that you would suffer if you fail with learning this thing. Because the thing is, humans are more motivated by negative emotion than positive emotion. So rather than thinking about the positive emotions that you're gonna feel if you succeed, think about the negative emotions that you're gonna feel if you fail. And if you don't have anything negative like that, then perhaps you simply don't have a strong enough reason to learn the code. And that is fine too. Can we talk about Tom Cruise yet? Soon. But first, after you find your motivation, you still wanna hold off from starting. So at the start of me learning things about technology, I would always just like pick up literally random courses on like random topics because I just thought like, well, the more I know, the better. Which turned out to be a terrible plan, who would have thought, and waste me a ton of time learning things that I never actually ended up needing. You see, coding can be used in a ton of different things. And everything from the type of company you work for, the type of developer you want to be, the skills that you need to learn to do those things can be drastically different. For example, if you want to become a startup engineer versus work for a big company, as I've learned from personal experience, having done both of these things myself, the things you need to do for both of these are going to be drastically different. And then what you want to do is pick a resource or a course or something like that that's as targeted as possible to help you achieve that specific goal that you have because if you don't do that you're just going to waste a ton of time because you don't even know what you need to learn for example to become a startup engineer or to become a python developer for your goal you want to find the right resource for you and you want it to be as targeted as possible side note if you want to find the least targeted resource that's basically going to be four years of complete fluff and maybe like one or two things that you're going to actually need you might want to look into a computer science degree. Basically teaches nothing that's actually relevant in the world world. Side note, anyway, I digress. With this, you're almost ready to get started and you might succeed with just these two things, but chances are, if you don't have the right mindset, you're still gonna fail. So let's talk about that next. And to understand the next thing, we need to look at a graph, which I'm gonna draw to you right now. Look at that. Isn't that just the most amazing graph you have ever seen in your life? And what this graph represents is time in the X axis and motivation in the y-axis. But basically what's happening here is that every time you start learning the code, first your motivation is going to be up here. You're super stoked to get started learning this new cool thing. But then as you keep learning, 
you eventually hit something called the dip, where your motivation just completely dip, which I've clearly drawn to you right here. And what happens here to most people is that they end up quitting. And this is very normal because this is the zone where you enter what's called conscious incompetence. You realize just how freaking little you know about this thing. And you realize that, oh shit, it's actually pretty hard. It's not as easy as those stupid YouTubers were making it out to be. And the difference between people who get out of this dip, aka the people who are able to keep pushing despite this drop in motivation, and those who can't, is the difference between the people who succeed in learning these new skills and those who don't. And spoiler alert, most people are not able to do that because most people are lazy and they just rely on this like feeling of like, oh, I need to feel inspired and motivated to do this. But let me just give you a secret. It, this will happen to you. You will not feel inspired anymore at this point because you've been doing this for a while. The initial excitement has gone away. So you're going to need to find the thing that will keep you going in this moment. So the question is then, how do you do that? For the first part, it's obviously just to keep reminding you of your motivation, which was the first thing we talked about. But even this is really, like it might get you 20% of the way there. I think it's something deeper that every successful person, not just with learning coding, but in general, has that keeps them going. And to understand that, we're finally ready to talk about Tom Cruise. You know why Tom Cruise is so successful at making movies? Is it because he had some natural talent that just makes him a genius at making movies? Is it because he's some kind of superhuman? No, it's because he has chosen to become absolutely obsessed about the craft of making movies, and he has done that for a very, 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 very long time time. And why has he been able to do that? Well, because he genuinely enjoys the process so much that there's nothing else that he wants to do than to make the best movies in the world. There's only so far that you can push yourself with just sheer discipline. If you really, really want to be really good at something, you do at some point genuinely need to find a way to enjoy the process. Tom Cruise understands this. If he was starting to learn to code today, it would be because that is the thing that he generally wants to do rather than making movies. And because he would put in the years because he actually wants to really get good at it, he would eventually be a really good programmer. So you wanna be like Tom Cruise. Become obsessed with the one thing that you really wanna get good at and just focus on it. So with these three things, you're now ready to start learning. But if you're a beginner programmer, this still brings you to your next problem. I talked about setting a goal, having a clear path, but what I didn't tell you is specifically what I would do right now if I was a beginner programmer learning code from scratch. So if you wanna learn exactly what that path is, I recommend you watch this video right here where I go through exactly what I would do in 2024 if I was starting over from scratch and I wanted to get a tech job as fast as possible. So if that is your goal, I recommend you watch this video right here. With that, I will see you in the next one.